welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how to make this very beautiful sweater. See, this is the slave. The color is more beautiful, but I have too much light. So, um, look how it is the sweater. It's really, really nice. For this sweater, I use um, the yarn Alize Cotton Gold Fine. So look, this is the color. And because uh, this yarn is very thin, I put in three strands. One, two, and three, okay? And I use the crochet number four millimeters for all the sweater, except the collar. The collar, I make it with 3.5 millimeters. Um, for the sweater, uh, I use in total for S size, six skeins. But just remember, I use three ske uh, skeins at the same time. Uh, look how matters has each skein matters yes if you want to use the same uh, color the code is 216 but if you don't want to use this type of yarn so if you want to use your local yarn you can use any kind of yarn who is suitable and it work with the crochet number four millimeter. Okay, so it's not necessary to use the same yarn. Okay, it works very very fast, and if you are a beginner, uh, you can do it because it's only uh, double crochet except this little model here i make a front post triple crochet and back post triple crochet so it's very very easy um, i hope you like it um, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel Leave a comment if you want and now let's begin. As you can see, I already make the first part of this sweater. Uh, this sweater can make for any size. Uh, so if you make for a child, you can do it. If you make for an adult, for any size, you can do it. You need to crochet so many stitch you need who is multiple of two okay and after you chain the number of stitch that you need but how do you know how many stitch you need you join with slip stitch into the first Uh, chain and if your head enters at this little cycle you stop to chain to chain okay so you crochet until your head enters at this cycle but before you join with slip stitch you need to chain with four stitch in plus why 
we need the fourth stitching plus because we have four corners one two three and four for example in my case for the front and from the back I chain 22 and this 22 chain is 13.5 centimeter for the left and for the right I have 18 chain and this 18 chain is 11 centimeter so in total I chain 18 plus 4 for the corners. In total, I have 84 chain. The difference between front and back, left and right, must be 4 chain. So, 18 chain plus 4 is 22. Okay? But it is, in my case, with the yarn that I use, with the crochet that I use, and, of course, with my style to work. But, you can do it for any size. Okay? And now, after you chain the number of stitch that you need, plus four for the corners okay we join with slip stitch into the first chain okay and chain two this chain two counts like one double crochet and in the same stitch we make one double crochet chain one and also into the same stitch make two double crochet and this is the first corner then you need to make the number of stitch that you have for the left and for the right. In my case, is 18. But in this mini example, I have less stitch. Okay? But in my case, first we need to make the part for the shoulders and make double crochet in every stitch until you make the number of stitch that you need for the shoulders part. I, I make this double crochet and then I will show you how to make the next corner. So after you make the number of double crochet that you need for the shoulder part, we need to make the corner number two. And in the next stitch we make Two double crochet one and two chain one and in the same stitch again two double crochet okay this is the corner number two now you need to make the number of double crochet that you need for the front side okay so make the number of stitch that you need for the front side and then into the next stitch make the corner number three the number 
uh, the corner number three is make with two double crochet into the same stitch chain one two double crochet into the same stitch and also after you make the corner number three uh, make the number of double crochet that you need for another shoulders and then into the next stitch make the last corner and then at the end you need to have exactly the same number of double crochet that you make at the front side but this last double crochet that you need to make is for the back side okay i uh, continue to work until i almost finish the row and then i will show you how to join and how to begin the next row i almost finished the first row your work will look like that and now after you make the last double crochet we join with the slip stitch into the chain two okay so join with slip stitch into the chain two and then into the next double crochet we make one slip stitch and then into the chain one space we also make one slip stitch why we make like that because every row begin and finish at the corner look how beautiful it is like that okay and now we begin the row number two and also we begin to make this little model so chain two one two the chain two is count as one double crochet and make one double crochet chain one two double crochet into the same space chain one space and now it's very important how to begin how to uh, make the first double crochet at every row after you make the corners so first double crochet is here okay not here so every time after you make the corner you need to begin here and now you continue to make double crochet in every stitch until you reach at the corner at the corner we make one moment until I make this double crochet okay it's very simple and very easy to make and it's work very fast okay so I reach at the chain one space at the chain one space make two double crochet chain one two double crochet okay and now this is the shoulders part and now this is the front side this you work until 
you have at this corner until you have seven. So I work, I chain, I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I crochet until I have seven stitch, okay? I make double crochet until I have seven and then I will show you how to begin this little model. Now, after you make the number of double crochet that you need and here you will have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So into the next stitch here we make from post triple crochet. I don't yarn over two times for the triple crochet. I yarn over only once. So yarn over one time and then we have three loops, one, two, and three. We take one loops, then we take two, then we take two. This is front post triple crochet. Into the next stitch, we make back post triple crochet. One moment. So we have three loops. We take one, we take two, we take two. Okay? Into the next stitch, we make front post triple crochet. Into the next stitch, we make back post triple crochet. One, two, and three. Into the next front post triple. One, two, and three. Into the next back post triple crochet. And the last stitch is from post triple crochet is the last stitch at this part okay and then we make the corner two double crochet chain one two double crochet and now you continue to work exactly how it is double crochet in every stitch and also make the corners okay so continue until you finish the row when you finish the row join with slip stitch into the chain two then make one slip stitch into the next double crochet and one slip stitch into the chain two and the row number three you make the corners make the shoulder part make the next corner and work until you have two double crochet uh, into the front at this front post triple crochet okay so two work until here you have one two okay i will work and then i will show you how to make the next uh, stitch so I work until I have two double crochet into the front at this front front post triple crochet. So here we have one, two, three, four uh, front post triple crochet and one, two, three, 
back pose, triple crochet. And now we will have six front posts, triple crochet, and one, two, three, four, five back post, triple crochet. And now into the next stitch here we make back post triple crochet into the next back post triple crochet and now you continue exactly how the stitch are okay so front post triple crochet and back post triple crochet until you reach here at the last uh, from post triple crochet so I work until I make the last from post triple crochet and then into the next stitch we make back post triple crochet and into the next stitch here from post triple crochet make the corner two double crochet into the chain one space chain one and two double crochet again and now you continue to work double crochet in every stitch until you finish the row so this is the row number three on the next row we work also until we have into the front at uh, uh, this from post triple crochet two stitch one two we work until here you see so we have one row two rows three rows so i crochet until i have two double crochet here into the front at this front post triple crochet and we are at the row number four one two three four look one two three one two three and four okay we after we make the row number four we repeat one more time at this time we make again uh, double crochet in every stitch until we reach into the front at the first from post triple crochet so after we make this row row number four we repeat the row okay so make one from post triple crochet one back post triple crochet and continue until you reach at the last from post triple crochet Okay. So work until here and then I will show you again how to make it. But look, as you can see, our work look like that. Okay. So I make the last from post triple crochet into the next stitch we make back post triple crochet and 
into the last stitch we make from post triple crochet and then make the corner again to double crochet chain one two double crochet into the same chain one space and you continue at this row you need to have one two three four five six seven eight from post triple crochet and one two three four five six seven back post triple crochet okay so at this row number one two three four okay so continue until you finish the row join with the slip stitch and make the corner and continue until you have also two double crochet into the front at this front post triple crochet at this time you will need to have after you make this part you will have eight uh, from post triple crochet and seven uh, back post oh, sorry you will sorry sorry you will have ten from post triple crochet okay one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and one two three four five six seven eight nine back post triple crochet okay so finish this row row number four and then make the row number five as i tell you and then i will show you how to uh, decrease at this model because after we make some rows we uh, our work will look like that see it's really nice okay so finish the row number four make the row number five and then i will show you how to make the row number six but the row number six you can also make it until we reach here at the model so i make the row number five as i tell you but first i finish the row number four i then i make the row number five at the row number five you have ten um, from post triple crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and one two three four five six seven eight nine back post triple crochet so our work look like that at the row number two we have four front post and three back post at the row number three we have six front post and five back post at the row number four eight front post seven back post at the row number five ten front post and nine back post triple crochet and at the row number six i work until i reach at the first from post triple crochet at this row we will have eight from post and seven back post triple crochet so we make into the first from post triple crochet we make double crochet into the next back post triple crochet we make double crochet 
and now we continue to make back post triple crochet and back post triple crochet until we reach here because this front post and this back post triple crochet we work also with double crochet so make until here so i work until i have one front post and one back post here the last two and into the last back post we make double crochet and also into the last front post triple crochet we make double crochet and then we make double crochet in every stitch until we reach other corner other corner make two double crochet one two chain one and two double crochet again into the same chain one space and then you continue to make double crochet in every stitch until you reach at the end of the row and then you begin the next row so at this row we have one two three four five six seven eight from post and seven back post one two three four five six and seven at the next row you continue as i show you and we will have six from post and five back post triple crochet and on the next row we you have four from post triple and three uh, three uh, back post triple crochet okay when you have four from post triple crochet and three back post triple crochet you repeat one more time this row so as you can see at the row number nine you repeat the rows at the two at eight so here you have one two rows with one two three four from post triple crochet and one two three back post triple crochet okay and then you continue again as i show you i will show you one more time for you to know how uh, many front post and back post triple crochet you need to have okay so repeat until you obtain the length uh, for your back okay and also until you obtain the space for your arms in my case i don't want to be a large sweater okay but it's your choice how uh, large want to be this sweater if you obtain the length for your bag and it's okay for your space for your arm you can stop okay so after you obtain the space for your arms and the length for your back i will show you how to join the corners okay to form this space 
for your arms. Now I uh, crochet until I obtain the length for the back and also I have the space for the arms. Um, if you want to make this sweater a little large, you can make with one, two or three rows more. Okay, it's your choice if you want uh, uh, this sweater to be a little large. And now it's time to join the corners. It's very easy. And now we chain two, one and two. This chain two from now on don't count as one double crochet, okay? So don't count. Into the same chain one space, we make one double crochet and then we take the next corner and into the next corner at the chain one space we make also one double crochet okay and now you continue to work normally double crochet in every stitch and when we make the slave even your work look like that don't worry because when we begin the slave we begin from here Okay, so continue to work until you reach at the next corner and you make double crochet in every stitch okay and of course continue with this model okay so continue until you reach at the next corner and then I will show you again how to join. So after we join the first corner, continue until you reach at the next corner. And now we have two corners to join the last two corners and into the chain one space make one double crochet okay and then take the last corner and also make one double crochet okay and when we begin the slave, we begin from here. But we need first to finish this part. And now you continue to make double crochet in every stitch. One moment. Okay, until you reach here at the chain two. Okay, and then I will show you how to join and how to begin the next row. I finished the row and now it's time to join and begin the next row. We join not into the chain two, we join with slip stitch into the first double crochet and then because I want uh, every row to begin exactly in the middle I make one slip stitch into the next double crochet but only 
at this row. Okay, chain two, one, two, and in the same space, we make one double crochet. Okay. And now you continue to make double crochet in every stitch. Okay, until you finish the row. And of course, also continue with this model. I make this row and then I will show you again how to finish, how to join and how to begin the next row, okay? I almost finished the row and the last stitch we make here. Okay, and then we join with slip stitch into the first double crochet chain two one two in the same stitch make one double crochet and then continue to make double crochet in every stitch and also make the model when you finish the row, the last stitch is here and then join with slip stitch into the first double crochet. So from now on you continue until you obtain the length that you need. Okay? Uh, in my case, I don't know at this moment how long will be this sweater, but the last two rows must be these two rows where you have one, two, three, four from post triple crochet and one, two, three back post triple crochet. Okay, so don't matter how long your sweater uh, will be. The last two rows is with uh, four from post triple crochet and three back post triple crochet. And then uh, we make a little edge. After we make the little edge, uh, we make the slave and after we finish the slave we make the collar okay I finish this part in my case it's a long sweater okay and now for me it's time to make the edge this edge we also make after we finish the slave okay so the same edge we make after we finish the slave and now chain one into the same stitch make one single crochet then yarn over and skip to one two into the third stitch we make one moment we make five double crochet into the same stitch one two three four and five skip two stitch one two into the third we make one single crochet skip 
skip to again one two into the third we make five double crochet one two three <coughs> four and five skip two stitch again one two into the third one single crochet one more time skip two one two into the third we make five double crochet one two three four and five skip two again one two and make one single crochet okay so continue all around until you finish the row when you finish the row you join with slip stitch here into the first single crochet okay after i finish this row i make one slave and then i will show you how to make the slave now after you finish this part and uh, after you obtain the length that you have need it's time to make the slave the slave is very simple, exactly as we work at, the, at this part, only double crochet and without this model. So only double crochet. I will show you how to begin and how to decrease. And as you can see, I make the same edge that I make here at the bottom okay so after you finish one slave make exactly the same edge it's really nice look okay and now um, we begin from here and here we have one corner and also here we have one corner you insert the crochet into one corner and then into the next take your yarn and join them and make two knots one and two look okay and now you insert a crochet here and we chain two one two this chain two don't count as one double crochet and in the same stitch we make one unfinished double crochet okay and into the next stitch one unfinished double crochet and join them this is one decrease at this first row we decrease three times at the beginning and three times at the end of the row so we make one decrease into the next stitch make one unfinished double crochet into the next one unfinished double crochet join them this is the the decrease number two one more time 
one unfinished double crochet and then into the next one unfinished double crochet join and now you continue to make double crochet in every stitch all around okay until you have here at the end of the row one two three four five six and so until you have at the end of the row six stitch because here we also need to make the decrease I crochet until I have six double crochet at the end of the row one two three four five and six and now we make also three decrease so into the next stitch make one unfinished double crochet into the next one unfinished double crochet and join first decrease then again one unfinished double crochet into the next one unfinished double crochet join the decrease number two and now the last decrease one unfinished double crochet and one unfinished double crochet and join this is the decrease number three we have one two and three and now we join a slip stitch here into the first decrease at the beginning of the row so join with slip stitch chain two after you finish the first row you take a stitch marker and uh, put at the first row because when uh, you make the second slave it's more easy to count the number of rows that you need to make okay so put a stitch marker after you finish the first row now other row number two we decrease two times at the beginning and two times at the end of the row so into the same stitch make one unfinished double crochet into the next one unfinished double crochet and join one more time one unfinished double crochet into the next stitch one unfinished double crochet so we make two decrease and now you continue to make double crochet in every stitch until you have four stitch at the end of the row one two three and four okay so one two three and four stitch and then I will show you again how to decrease how to join and how to begin the next row I work until I have an end of the row four stitch one two three four and we make again two decrease at the end of the row so into the next stitch make one unfinished double crochet into the next stitch one unfinished double crochet join and then the last decrease at this row one unfinished double crochet and one unfinished double crochet and join and now we join with slip stitch here into the first decrease now chain two again one two and at this time we make one decrease 
at the beginning and one decrease at the end of the row. So in the same stitch, insert the crochet and make one unfinished double crochet. And into the next, also make one unfinished double crochet and join. And now you crochet normally double crochet in every stitch all around until you have at the end of the row two one two stitch okay and then i will show you how to make the next row so i also work until i have two stitch and also we need to make one decrease one unfinished double crochet into the next stitch and one unfinished double crochet and join and now we join here with a slip stitch into the first stitch now from now on you make two rows work normally without decrease one row decrease at the row uh, when you need to decrease you make one decrease at the end of the row and one decrease of, sorry one decrease at the beginning of the row and one decrease at the end of the row okay so from now on this is a, a normal row without decrease chain two and in the same stitch make double crochet and double crochet all around until you finish the row okay last stitch is make here then join with slip stitch here into the first double crochet and then make one more row so this is the row number one without decrease the row number two without decrease the row number three decrease at the beginning and at the end of the row only one decrease one here one here okay so crochet from now on you crochet so many rows you need until you obtain your length after you obtain your length make the same edge that i show you at the bottom at this sweater after you make the slaves, uh, the last step is the mini collar here at the top. Okay? And now, after we make the slaves, it's time to make the collar. The collar is made with uh, one uh, front post double crochet, one big post double crochet. Um, for the collar, I change the crochet number. For example, in my case, I work the sweater with the crochet number four millimeter. And for the collar, I use 3.5 millimeter. The collar, we begin to make here at the back side not at the front side okay um, in my case I need to make some decrease uh, for the collar so I decrease two times at the back side 
one time at the shoulder side and two times at the front side. But first we need to begin. You insert the crochet, not here where we chain. We insert the crochet into the double crochet. Okay? So insert the crochet and we make one, two. This chain two don't cut into the same stitch we make one from post double crochet one moment okay into the next stitch one big post double crochet into the next one from post double crochet into the next stitch I make one decrease I I make one decrease here and one decrease when I almost finish the row but the decrease at this time we take two double crochet at the same time my advice when you make the decrease uh, you make when uh, you need to make a back post double crochet okay so i take two stitch at the same time see one two and now we make a front post double crochet and back post double crochet okay. i will make some two more and then i will show you here at the corner so here is the corner and I make one stitch here and now I skip the corner so one two three four okay and I insert the crochet into the next stitch see and now I continue to make front post double crochet and back post double crochet all around okay so at the shoulder part here you make one decrease if you need at the front side you decrease to it two times if you don't you can decrease one more time but in my case i need to decrease two times so i decrease one time here i work until here i will make one more decrease here one more decrease and continue to work and also here make one decrease and then continue until you finish the row when you finish the row I will show you how to join and how to begin the next row I almost finish the first row on the collar and after you make the last stitch you join with slip stitch here into the first front post triple crochet okay 
and now you chain two, one, two, and you work the stitch exactly how it is. One front post, double crochet, one back post, double crochet all around and also you can make so many rows you need if you want a big uh, collar like that you need to make more rows but it's your choice how many rows you make for the collar okay so from post double crochet and take post double crochet all around until you obtain your collar so more or less row so after you finish the collar the sweater is ready i hope you like it it's not hard to make and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, leave a comment if you want, and also share my video with your friends. Thanks for watching and bye bye.